What's going on everybody? Welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we're going to be completing a machine from TriHackMe called Bulletproof Penguin. This is going to allow us to harden a Linux system. So most of the time we are usually attacking but today we're going to be actually fixing issues and making sure that this machine is secure. So our task here is to first start the machine on TriHackMe. I'm connected to my Kali using my own VPN and here it says that we have been hired as a consultant by a company and they've ran a scanner maybe Nessus or uh, OpenVerse in this case and that scanner has found some vulnerabilities and they have some meetings and they have recommendations so our job as a new consultant is fix these issues first we have a username and password for SSH so we will go ahead and connect just use the SSH command this time we're going to this IP address so SSHing as the THM user say yes the password is right here penguin and we will paste it here all right so let's make sure we know what we're doing here sudo dash l can can i run anything i want yes so i can fix this system then now we can go to the first task you say we completed that one and then it says ready server no password so the finding was it's possible to log in without a password on the ready server and solution is to change using the require pass directory in the Redis conf. So here's some documentation. I encourage you to go ahead and pull this documentation and go through it. But for the sake of our time here, I will just uh, open it on a different screen and copy the actual configuration. So we need to change Redis conf. For that, we just go to and say, hey, um, say sudo nano etsy Redis conf. And in that file, we should see require pass. So control W require pass. I think the default one is full bar. Okay. So this is the configuration part that we need to remove. Just uncomment that where it says full bar red, we need to change this to a pass, whatever here. That way it's a little bit more secure and we need to restart this service. Give it the penguin pass. I should just run this with sudo. All right. Now, in order for us to get our first flag, they told us to run the get flags command. So this should give us our first flag that we fixed Redis. So we need to modify that config file and restart the service. So for everything that we'll be doing, it's modify, restart service, modify, restart service. Okay, the detection for the second one here is SNMP agent is allowing the public community string. So we need to make sure that we change that to not public. Then we'll be able to get a flag. In order for us to do that, we just come back here and we say, hey, uh, sudo nano etsy snmp snmpd.conf. In here, I think they, there's a value called raw community. So control W. There we go. So this is where it's specifying that it wants it to be public. I think I need to change that. Instead of public, I will just put it test one, two, three. It needs to be something different. Okay. To X, Y, enter. Can we get our flag now? All right. So we get the second flag. Okay. So here, Nginx is running as root. We need to change that to pay their recommendation. They say that the one need to run is www.data. So running Nginx as root, if somebody compromises the website, then they'll hop on your system. We don't want that. So in order for us to do that, let's just go find the Nginx configuration file and change the user to www.data. So that's the configuration file this value here saying user root we want that to be www-data and we also wanted to use www-data group let's see we might have to change the permissions for all the nginx configuration files for this to work or maybe it's just this user let's see but you you, you might need to change the service to be owned by this user and also the config file 
let's see if get flags will just work okay it didn't work maybe we didn't we just need to restart the service otherwise i'll go through the process of changing the permissions oh i guess we don't need to change the permissions just restart the service and we we'll get the nginx flag all right clear text protocols vulnerability was detected according to the detection method uh, replace telnet with the protocol like ssh but we already have ssh here so take down the telnet service we can do that to take down telnet we can just ask aptitude to replace it and say hey apt remove telnet d this should give us a flag after it's done now get flags okay so we, we removed telnet next what is the Cletex service that's running on port 69 so let's check port 69 what is the service so sudo ls of i for the port we see that the actual name is tftp but tftp is running in inet d so that's interesting what is clear okay take down the service or we just need to kill the service okay let's go and remove inet d in order for us to do that sudo service inet d stop you can remove it entirely but they say, just said take down the service so i guess clear text services flag is here so far everything seems to be straightforward all right we had six we have a uh, weak crypto i've done this before where we have to remove the weak crypto some applications will not even run if your server is this so we need we detected sha1 and these protocols and these so let's go ahead and um, modify these in the ssh file so the ssh config has those so the way that i'm going to do is i'll, I'll remove one at a time starting with the diffy one i'll remove one get the flag restart the service and do it over and again so sudo nano and in etc ssh sshd.config that's the file that contains this so the way that i'm going to do it is this is the protocol i need to remove i'll just search for it and remove it control w and paste and enter so it's this one So I'll say control X, Y, and save is SSH D restart. Run it with sudo. And then let's see if I can get a flag. All right. So that was the first one, KEX. So we fixed this issue for the first one. We need to go them one at a time. And that's the flag. Next. We have these so I'll just find them one at a time as well it's the same configuration file that can remove this give me this one triple dash cpc okay aes okay control a w search for that one okay the good thing is these two are next to each other so we can just remove that and the way up to here control x y enter okay now i need to restart ssh again and get the flags hopefully i can get this flag all right weak ciphers then finally we need to remove this hmark search for it so it's this one all right it's gone control x be very careful to not corrupt the file by making mistakes okay now get the flags weak emacs all right now moving to task seven anonymous ftp reporting so anonymous login over lvc is a problem because people can just 
sign in without a password. So the year they're saying we need to you're required to disable anonymous TFTP. In order for, to do that, it's uh, going to be sudo nano etsy vsftp.conf and here you notice that it says anonymous equals to yes we can just say anonymous equals to no draw x y enter and save is okay whatever let's see if i can get my flag let's use system control to restart the service and then let's get our flag so system control to restart ftpd after you change the anonymous all right task eight weak password so what is the problem credentials were brute forced so weak passwords were found change password for mary and munra then we need to, to delete those two accounts sudo pass wd mary i'll just give it a random password all right okay now i need to change moonrise password all right and next they said erase these users so here what i'll do is i'll say sudo user delete joseph oh it's user deal like that in test one all right so now that we did that we should be able to get our, our flag for that so this is the change pass then we need unused accounts all right review pseudo permissions so what is the finding they found some users have all all like moonra we just deleted moonra so pseudo v pseudo we can remove moonra sudo vi sudo we don't need moon right in here okay since we're still in this file they said that mary need to be able to run this without a password so let's construct that so looking looking up the syntax of how a user might run a command without password we need the no pass the command that they are running and all that is just that command and we can list these commands over here but for now that's how we solve that issue and let's get our flag all right so sudo mary and we need sudo munra all right next we have exposed ports they found mysql and redis being exposed outside so we need to go and find these ports and point them locally and that's what they're talking about here so first let's find mysql and for that we just run sudo nano to the configuration file mysql mysql conf.d mysql at first i looked in here it's not in here so it's actually pointing to conf.d so we go in here control w and look for bind so here it's saying hey listen on all interfaces we want it to listen just on 12700.1 restart mysql and hopefully we get our, our flag so we'll do the same for redis and find the bind ip address so let's find where the redis config is in order to do that for us we go to let's see redis redis.conf using nano and sudo and control w to look for bind okay control w then to look for 0, .0, .0, 0, .0. Because bind is showing somewhere and here 127.0.0.1 control x y and then let's restart redis and get our flag it looks like we got all the flags that were on this list and at the end here they said hey we made this room more secure so I hope this change in pace was helpful so thank you very much for being here and please remember to subscribe let me know in the comments if you like this content otherwise i hope to see you next time